Hello everybody, welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. It's your man Panda G, and we are back here again on episode 6. In today's episode, we're going to be going through Mount Moon, and we're going to be checking out everything that there is to be inside. So let's switch Lester up to the front, so that way we can have him gain some experience as we gather through into Mount Moon. Let's get it. So, walking in, we can see there's that Pokeball on the left-hand side, but I want to talk to this girl. She says she's waiting for her friends to find her here, but honestly, she's hiding in a really bad spot. She's like hiding behind this sign, and I saw her instantly. So, last Iris is going to send out her Clefairy at first, and it's female, level 14. Lester, he has Hyper Fang, so hopefully he makes quick work of this. I know she might have Infatuation as her special ability, so I know that he might fall in love or something, but... He's going to hit her with another Hyper Fang, and that's just going to make easy work with her. So, bada bing, bada boom. And Lester's just going to get uh, 200 experience, get to level 15, and we're just going to keep on moving through. Good start to entering into the mountain. She said, I lost. Girl, come on, yo. Don't act surprised. Then we're just going to go to the left. Get that Pokeball. There's a Bug Catcher over here. We're going to see, like, another Bug Catcher, I'm sure, because... These guys think that their little Caterpies and Weedles are going to be able to stand up to, uh, you know, the might of, I just hit my desk, the might of my Pokemon. Anyways, this is Bugcatcher Kenny. He's going to send out his Weedle, and I'm going to give him a fighting chance. I'm going to give him a fighting chance, but I'm going to make him, like, sweat a little bit. So let's Hyper Fang the Weedle. That should easily take care of it. It's level 11. It's really not going to give us too much work. So Lester's going to switch. Uh, not Lester. Kenny's going to switch over to his Kakuna. So I'm going to switch over to my Ivysaur. And Ivysaur, we're just going to mess with him. Because he's about to level up to level 18. So let's fight. Let's tackle him. That shouldn't really kill him. It should only do a little bit of work. And then let's tackle him again. He's going to harden the whole time. So this is going to be pretty sweet. And then we'll just vibe with him at the end. Just so that way we can just pretend that we're doing some, right? Anyways, there's some uh, in, in Mount Moon altogether. I know you can find Paris as a bug type. You can get Zubat, which is a flying poison type. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can get Geodude. And pretty sure that's it. I don't know. I may be mistaken. You might be able to find Onyx. I don't know. Leave it in the comments if I missed anyone. Uh, yeah. So just like that, we're going to defeat Bugcatcher Kenny. And we're going to take his lunch money because obviously he doesn't know what he's doing in here. I don't know what he's doing. He's lost. We're going to get a Paralysis Heal in the top corner. And then let's just run down. Got into a little Pokemon battle. But let's just keep running over here to the right side because I did see a passage. Um, there's a Pokeball down there. But let's before we get that, let's go down this ladder and see what's down here. Because keep in mind, a few episodes back, we did hear somebody talk about mysterious... Oh, like these guys. Mysterious goons in in the mountain and these guys are pokemon gangsters team rocket so you know we have to show them what's up we have to flex so they're trying to steal our money they're trying to steal pokemon do some sketchy shit so they're gonna send out sandshrew level 11 we're gonna send out our ivysaur even though lester's in front i wasn't prepared for him to come at me like that he came out with a knife some some crazy shit but uh ivysaur he's gonna get some sand in his face like some scumbag through some sand but we're gonna vine whip him easy and I think he had like three Pokemon. So let's see. So we're going to split the experience. And he's going to send out his Rattata. So let's send out our Rattata. And let's see what we can do. Lester level 15. He's looking strong out here. He's been getting them steroids in. He's been, you know, doing that training. But right now, it's all good. We're going to Hyper Fang and get that critical hit. Play no games with that level 11 Rattata. And we're going to see what he's sending out. So he's going to send out his Zubat. So this is actually a Pokemon you can get in Mount Moon. I'm sure if you run around here so, so many steps, you're going to be able to find a Zubat. Uh, starting out, I think it maybe knows Astonish, Leech Life. So it's really not too strong. Um, later, 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 after you beat the Elite Four, I'm sure you can evolve it into a Crobat, which will make it a lot better. But no, nah, I've never really played this game with a Zubat or a Golbat. But... There, you can get a star piece. Obviously, star pieces, you can sell them for high cash. Um, there's nothing really too much else down there. I may have missed an item or two. If I did, leave it in the comments. Um, but down here, we see there's that Pokeball. And here we have a uh, scientist-looking guy. He said, don't sneak up on me, bro. You snuck up on me. Look at this little, little scientist geek guy. So, Super Nerd Joven, he's going to send out his Magnemite. 
Lester doesn't really have too many attacks that can deal really much damage to the steel type part of him. So we're going to switch Lester with Ivysaur and see if Vine Whip does a decent amount. So Metal Sound's going to lower our special defense harshly, but I'm not really too worried about it. I don't mean to tackle, but uh, that's kind of what Lester would be doing. So tackle does less for him than it did for me, but we're going to Vine Whip him, get him into the yellow. It's not very effective, but it does do some damage. Thundershock really doesn't do nothing. That was a critical hit, so he's just lucky to even be here. Vine, him, whip, vine Whip him one more time, and it's not very effective, but it's going to put him to work and Magnemite's gonna go down. They're gonna split the experience one more time and then we're gonna send out uh, Lester for Voltorb because Voltorb isn't steel type, he's just electric. So that is gonna be make him susceptible to Hyper Fang, which is really gonna put some damage into him. So just like that, Hyper Fang did do the work. Voltorb got one shot and Lester is going to get to level 16 defeated super nerd joven my pokemon won't do sweet yeah um i mean you're using electric type in a fucking mountain bro like i'm sorry but that's a just a bad combination if you go down into this bottom right corner you can actually find yourself a rare candy and i'm actually going to save all my rare candies till the end and i'm not going to use them throughout i don't really use them i'm not really going to be buying too much stuff neither uh but at the end, I'm gonna have all the rare candies that I've collected and we'll have like a total counter of how many rare candies that I found. If I missed any, then you guys will let me know in the comments, right? Um, but right now we're gonna run into a bug catcher, Robbie. He's another bug catcher down here. And I wonder why he's in here in this mountain. I don't know what he thinks he's gonna be doing, but he's gonna send out his Caterpies. So I'm gonna send out my Ivysaur and tackle him is gonna do about half health and his tackle is going to do one hp damn that's rough so caterpie is going to go down level 10 really not that much much shit so metapod we're going to switch over to lester again so that way he can make quick work of him and we can just keep on flying through because you know pokemon uh not pokemon metapod he's just going to stall he doesn't really know too many attacks these guys need to level it up to a butterfree or to a b drill because those guys are actually going to be doing the work but Kakunas and Caterpies, they're, they're just not cutting it. I know that this part is of the game is just to level up your Pokemon to go to Cerulean. Because the guy was talking about Cerulean City. So his goal is to get to Cerulean City. But with bug Pokemon, you're just not getting through here. Like, trainers like me are just going to swamp you. Like, this girl's just running in circles. She said, wow, it's way bigger than I thought. Jeez, girl, this is a kid's game. So, anyways, let's see. This is last Miriam. She's going to have two grass type Pokemon. Her first one's going to be Oddish. Her second one's going to be Bellsprout. But Lester is going to start with the quick attack. I do want to save some of his PP for uh, later for Hyper, Hyper Fang. I want to save that for later on. But right now, we're just going to quick attack until Oddish is dead. And he's going to live with one HP. Literally just one health point. So we're going to get that absorb. It's going to give him a few, few HPs. It's going to last him one more round. But quick attack is going to make quick work. So let's see. She's going to send out this Bell Sprout. I'm actually going to send out my Ivysaur because from here on out, I'm actually going to switch him forward and I want to give him some experience. So that way they're both kind of leveling up. But Bell Sprout, let's get him with a tackle and that tackle is going to do about half health. He's going to grow so he can, you know, muster up the strength to try and attack us, but it's really not that that useful because another tackle is just going to body him. So right here we're just gonna get 190 experience we're about to be at level 19. she's gonna say she lost it and we're gonna take some of her lunch money so just like that we're gonna run it i know there was i did see that one team rocket member but i wonder hold up i completely forgot thank you for not seeing me i forgot to switch this guy to the forward um let's check out this ladder i forgot i wonder where's the team rocket guys 